Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, Quran Weekly. Welcome back to another installment of the Stories of the Prophet series, exclusively here at Quran Weekly. Today we're going to be talking about Ibrahim alayhi salam. One of the most powerful events and stories that are shared with us in the Qur'an is about Ibrahim alayhi salam. This is one of my favorite stories in the Qur'an. So this begins with ayah number 51. Verse number 51 from Surah 21, Surah Anbiya. Allah says, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ رُشْتَهُ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَكُنَّا بِهِ عَالِمِينَ That Allah tells us that we gave Ibrahim alayhi salam the, you know, intelligence and maturity. So when Ibrahim alayhi salam became, you know, a mature young man, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكُنَّا بِهِ alimin," And we were watching over him, we knew everything that was going on with him. إِذْ قَالَ لِأَبِيهِ وَقَوْمِهِ مَا هَذِهِ التَّمَاثِيلُ الَّتِي أَنْتُمْ لَهَا عَكِفُونَ He tells his father and his people, what are these statues, these sculptures that you worship, that you offer so much devotion and dedication to? قَالُوا وَجَدْنَا آبَاءَنَا لَهَا عَبِدِينَ They say, hey listen youngin, not too fast. We found our forefathers worshipping these idols, okay? Now you be quiet and you back off. He said, لَقَدْ كُنْتُمْ أَنْتُمْ وَآبَاؤُكُمْ فِي ضَلَالِ مُبِينَ He goes, that doesn't change anything. That just means that you, just like your forefathers before you, are in serious grave error. Like you're wrong. You're doing something wrong. That's all that that means. So they respond back, قَالُوا أَجِئْتَنَا بِالْحَقِّ أَمْ أَنْتَ مِنَ اللَّاعِبِينَ do you actually have something solid, concrete to share with us? Or are you just messing around with us here? Because we don't have time for games. So Ibrahim alayhi salam says to them, Qala, he said, بَرْ رَبُّكُمْ رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ الَّذِي فَطَرَهُنْ He said, rather, your Lord, your Master, your Creator, Allah, is the Lord and the Master, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who gave them existence out of nothing. He created them from nothing. وَأَنَا عَلَىٰ ذَلِكُمْ مِنَ الشَّاهِدِينَ And I am a witness. I am a witness upon you when it comes to this fact. Like I am informing you of fact. I'm telling you that this is the reality. And he goes on to tell them, وَتَاللَّهِ لَأَكِيدَنَّ أَصْنَامَكُمْ بَعْدَ أَن تُوَلُّ مُدْبِرِينَ And when you guys aren't around, I'll teach you a lesson through your own idols. I'll show you what's right and what's wrong. I'll make you realize through these same idols that you worship. فَجَعَلَهُمْ جُذَاذًا إِلَّا كَبِيرًا لَهُمْ لَعَلَّهُمْ إِلَيْهِ يَرْجِعُونَ So the Qur'an tells us that they go out for some festival or some other situation or, you know, uh, event, uh, some occasion. And Ibrahim alayhi salam stays back and فَجَعَلَهُمْ جُذَاذًا He goes in there and he destroys all the idols. He smashes them to bits and pieces except for the biggest idol amongst all of them. He leaves that idol intact. And so that they can come back and realize what the truth of the matter is. So when they get back, قالوا, they said, مَنْ فَعَلَ هَذَا بِآلِهَتِنَا إِنَّهُ لَمِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ They said, whoever did this to our idols is a really terrible person. قالوا سَمِعْنَا فَتَنْ يَذْكُرُهُمْ يُقَالُ لَهُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ they said that we remember a young man, he's always talking about, about our idols, and I think his name is Ibrahim. People refer to him as Ibrahim. So they said, قَالُوا فَأْتُوا بِهِ عَلَىٰ أَعْيُنِ النَّاسِ Go and bring him عَلَىٰ أَعْيُنِ النَّاسِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَشْهَدُونَ In front of everybody, so we can make a lesson, an example out of him, and everybody finds out what happens when you mess with our idols. So when Ibrahim a.s. is brought to them, young man, they said, قَالُوا أَأَنْتَ فَعَلْتَ هَذَا بِآلِهَتِنَا يَا إِبْرَاهِيمِ They said, are you the one? Hey, listen. Are you the one who did this with our idols? Oh Ibrahim, is it you? Come on, fess up. So Ibrahim alayhi salam says, Qala, bal fa'alahu kabiruhum. Why couldn't have the biggest idol amongst them have done this? I mean, just look at, let's consider the circumstances. Crime scene investigation, CSI. All right? All the idols are smashed up into bits and pieces. You got a big old idol still standing there. He's like, well... Why don't you ask the big guy? بَلْ فَعَلَهُ كَبِرُهُمْ هَذَا فَسَلُوهُمْ إِنْ كَانُوا يَنْتِقُونَ So 
Ask them. You say they're your gods. You worship them. If they can speak to you, then ask them. فَرَجَعُوا إِلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ The Qur'an's expression of this is so powerful. The Qur'an says that they retreated back to their souls. They went back deep down and, and looked inside of themselves. They thought to themselves, what, what, do, you, what do you say to that? فَقَالُوا إِنَّكُمْ أَنْتُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ And they really thought that, what if we're wrong here? I mean, what if the young man's got a point? ثُمَّ نُكِسُوا عَلَىٰ رُؤُسِهِمْ But then their own stubbornness and foolishness got the best of them. لَقَدْ عَلِمْتَ مَا هَؤُلَىٰ يَنْتِقُونَ And they came right back at Ibrahim. They came right back at Abraham. At Ibrahim alayhi salam. They said, لَقَدْ عَلِمْتَ مَا هَؤُلَىٰ يَنْتِقُونَ They said, you know that they don't speak. Why would you say that? Why are you trying to mess with us? We told you we don't got time for your games. قَالَ أَفَتَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يَنْفَعُكُمْ شَيْئًا وَلَا يَضُرُّكُمْ He says, so what you're trying to tell me, let me, let me put everything together. Let's establish the facts here. You're trying to tell me that you worship something other than Allah. You worship other than Allah something that cannot benefit you in the least bit, nor could it ever harm you. أُفِلْ لَكُمْ What's wrong with you people? وَلِمَا تَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ And how, I mean, what's wrong with you? And how, you know, unfortunate is it these things that you worship other than Allah? أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ Don't you think? I mean, don't you, don't you, can't you just figure that much out? This is common sense. Think about what you're doing. Now, they didn't want to hear anymore. They just went into this ignorant, stubborn mode. So they said, قَالُوا حَرِّقُوهُ Burn him in a fire. وَانْصُرُوا عَلِهَتَكُمْ And help your gods, your idols. إِن كُنْتُمْ فَاعِلِينَ If you're going to do anything about it. So now this is where we'll kind of switch over to the Prophet ﷺ tells us what happens now. They built such a huge fire that they themselves couldn't even get close to it. So then they they're trying to figure out how do you throw him into the fire, inside the fire. So then they have to build a, build a catapult. And they put him inside the catapult and they tie up his arms and his legs and they put him inside of the catapult ready to launch him off. And as soon as they place him inside, Ibrahim alayhi salam does the only thing he can do. He says, Hasbi Allah. Hasbi Allah. Allah is all I need. Hasbi Allah. La ilaha illahu. There is absolutely, positively nothing, no one worthy of worship except for Him. Alayhi tawakkaltu. I've put my trust solely upon Him. Hasbi Allah. Allah is all I need. Wa ni'mal wakil. And He is the best of caretakers. Ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal nasir. He is the best of friends. The best of allies. And He is the best of anyone who can offer any help. He just turns to Allah and says, Allah is all I need. And they launch him out in the, to, in the catapult. Now I want you to imagine the situation, just the emotional state of a person. And try to imagine, forget about being in that place, just imagine seeing this, how overwhelming it would be. Tied up, hands and legs are tied up. The catapult launches him into the air. He's flying through the air, unrestrained. There's no parachute, there's no bungee cord, there's no nothing, just flying through the air. And at that point in time, it's like time freezes, everything stops. And Jibreel alayhi salam, the great angel Gabriel, Jibreel alayhi salam, comes to Ibrahim alayhi salam. And he says, Ya Ibrahim, Ya Khalil Allah, O Abraham, O friend of God, Alaka haja. Is there anything that you need? Is there anything I can do for you? And Ibrahim alayhi salam gives such a powerful response at that moment. He says, "Amma ilayka fala." He says, "Do I need anything from you? No, I'm good. Do I need anything from this? Is Jibril alayhi salam? This is not some shaitan or some demon or some evil person or even a human being offering their help. This is Jibril alayhi salam. He is the friend of the prophets. He's the one who brings divine revelation to prophets. He's saying, "Can I do anything for you?" And Ibrahim alayhi salam says, "Amma ilayka fala." As far as you're concerned, 
No thank you. I'm good. I don't need anything. Hasbi Allah. I have Allah. I have Allah. The, another narration says that the angel that is um, deputed to the rain, who's put in charge of the rain, that he sees this fire raging and burning, Ibrahim alayhi salam flying through the air about to land in the fire, and he crawls, he, he cries out. He cries out at that moment. Mata umaru. Mata umaru. When will I be commanded? Fa unzilul matara. That I will send the rain down. When? When will the command come? Ya Allah, your Khalil, your beloved friend is about to fall in the fire. And Ibrahim alayhi salam at that time falling forward into the fire. He says, Allahumma, Allahumma, oh Allah, Anta al-ilahu wahidun. Anta wahidun. Anta rabbu wahidun. Oh Allah, you are the only one worthy of being worshipped. وَأَنَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَاحِدٌ أَعْبُدُكَ And I am the only one in the earth, my Lord, my Master, who worships you. You're the only one worthy of worship, but I'm the only one on the earth that worships you, Ya Allah. And Ibrahim alayhi salam is coming down into the fire, falling into the fire. And right before he falls into the fire, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the next ayah, He tells us, قُلْ نَا We said, Allah said, He spoke directly to the fire, Ya Nar, O fire, Kuni bardan wa salaman ala Ibrahim. Be cool and be peaceful and safe upon my beloved friend Abraham, my friend Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ibrahim alayhi salam lands in the fire. And the narration says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the fire, Be cool and peaceful for Ibrahim. Not a single hair on his head or on his body was burned. But it was only for Ibrahim. What did burn? The ropes that were restraining his wrists and his ankles. Those ropes burned up. But not a single part of his body was burned. And Ibrahim is safe, peaceful, calm, sitting inside of that fire. Unharmed, untouched inside of that fire. What's this is a powerful lesson. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to say, Wa aradu bihi kaidan. They made this plot and plan and scheme against Ibrahim. Fajalnahum lakhsareen. But Allah says we made them the biggest losers. As is a powerful story in and of itself. But the lesson, the take-home lesson, for me personally, and what I'd like to share with you is that when we put our faith in Allah, when we turn directly to Allah, when we put our trust in Allah, when we rely and depend upon Allah, Allah will come to our aid and our rescue accordingly. There's a very powerful lesson here, very powerful nuance. Normally, you would think help and aid would come by extinguishing the fire. Allah would send down the rain to extinguish the fire, or something else, or Allah would send a flood and it would come and put out the fire. Ibrahim salam did not turn to the creation of Allah to get to Allah. He turned directly to Allah. I directly put my faith and my trust in Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly helped Ibrahim salam. No rain, no water, no nothing. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left the fire intact, but just made it change its nature. Commanded it change and become cool and peaceful. When we put our faith and trust in Allah, Allah will make the impossible possible for us. وَرَزَقَهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبُ Allah will provide ways and solutions for us from where we couldn't even imagine. I hope and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to practice everything we've said and heard and that we all benefit from this very powerful story in the Qur'an about the great Prophet of Allah, Ibrahim alayhi salam. Until next time, Qur'an Weekly, this is Abdul Nasir Jangda signing out. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.